today we're going to see uh, the combined uh, vulnerability or exploitation of the XML external entity as well as the server side request forgery on the vulnerable API. So this is going to be very, very interesting. Of course, I'm not going to go into deep on what is XML external entity and what is server side request forgery because I have covered in detail, in depth, uh, a video on that. Uh, if you haven't seen that already, I have linked those back in the description so you can uh, go and watch it out. But just a quick example on what is that, right? So let's say this, here's an attacker, and this is our website. So now with the XML external entity, uh, briefly what happens is when the uh, application or the APIs allows externally provided entity or untrusted entity from the user and execute that. Uh, that's an underlying issue with the XML parser, and that's how the XML entity attack occurs. Now, the server-side request forgery, in opposed to client-side, uh, uh, like you know, CSRF or uh, cross-site request forgery, uh, server-side, uh, how it works is when you uh, when you try to, uh, let's say, you you choose your victim. So here we're gonna uh, have, like you know, we're gonna use the web server as our uh, our chain of attack and we'll pass our comments to the server and because the server has a root access on the backend system it's going to use its credential to fetch the details that we need and attack and pass it back to the attacker so we're going to use the xml external entity uh to uh, like you know uh, exploit the XML parser and we're going to use the server side request forgery to grab the uh, to get the details from the back end using our web server so uh, using uh, like you know uh, XSE you can uh, have multiple vulnerabilities like you can exploit such as DOS you can do the port scanning you can also do like a remote code execution so there, there are certain things you can do but primarily our focus uh, is to exploit this uh, xml uh, xse and the ssrf now if you haven't got full understanding that's fine don't be too stressed about it i'll, I'll show you in the demo how it uh, how it works and and it will it will uh, feel much better after that but so quickly if you want to see the example so here we have the post request then we have this standard XML declaration. Uh, then we define the uh, entity, which is here as an XSE. And then we pass this entity as in request. And then what's going to happen is in the response, we will see, uh, like, you know, whatever the entity, uh, so we should be able to see the password file from the system as a response in this. So this is the like you know the entire uh, attack is going to be. So now let's see the real demo on how this really works. And please don't uh, like you know don't forget to hit the thumbs up button if you do like this demo. All right. So uh, this is our old Postman, and uh, we're gonna use the same API. So here we have the put method, and what it does is uh, it's gonna call the users.php, and then we have update password. Uh, here it takes the attacker like username, password, new password, and the confirmed password. And then we have to supply the token because it's only allowed to update the password if you are existing user or authenticated user. So let's try to uh, send this request. Okay, we got the invalid user because I guess my token is not up to date. Let me grab the new token and let's go here. All right. Okay, so now the update success. So we have the username, new password, confirm password, right? So now let's configure our proxy so we can see in the burp suite. And I have burp running. Okay. Send. Okay, let's send it to repeater. Let it go. Okay, so this is uh, the typical request, right? Uh, we send now. We're gonna what we're gonna do is we have to define. Uh, we don't know if the parser in the backend is vulnerable or not. So what we're gonna do is uh, we will try to define an entity and see if the server, uh, not this one, if the server uh, allows uh, the parser allows our external declared entity. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do file. We want to fetch the file which is located on this path. So assuming this is running Apache, it's running like you know probably an Ubuntu system, and the file path we can easily get uh, guess where all the passwords are uh, stored or uh, like you know 
probably you can also guess the other file. Uh, the main uh, like you know thing to remember is how you're gonna locate whether uh, it accepts the external entity or not. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna copy this and instead of username, uh, right? So here it tells me the user is attacker. I'll, I'll pass in. Uh, it's similar to SQL injection, right? So instead of getting the error message, you want to uh, get the database information. So we are doing essentially the same thing. So I'm five. I'm 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 uh, typing the entity name which we have declared here. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit the send button, and that, as you can see, uh, we now have. Uh, of course, it's going to say invalid user, but uh, we now have instead of user, we have all the information from this file, whatever it was. So likewise, we exploited two vulnerability as I said before. Uh, we exploited the XML parser vulnerability, and then we used. Uh, uh, the API to inject the CSRF because we would have not been able to hit this file directly, but web server can. So web server uh, accessed this file and gave the response back to us. So this is the whole attack uh, and and how it typically works. So make sure when you whenever you are testing the APIs, uh, sometimes scanner might not be able to pick this up, uh, pick such vulnerability. But whenever you see there is a request uh, body which takes the XML as a request you definitely want to check for the XML external entity. And this is on the, uh, I'm talking about the OAS web top 10. Uh, so this is, I think, on number four or five or something. So XSE is a very crucial and very popular vulnerability among the applications. And SSRF, as we have all seen, it's one of the dangerous of its kind vulnerability. So definitely uh, keep an eye on that whenever you're doing the API pen testing and again, uh, Thank you so much for your time. Please don't subscribe. Uh, don't forget to subscribe or hit the thumbs up button and comment. Watch uh, if you like my video and also what else do you like to see in the future videos? I'll uh, will uh, like you know continue our series on the API pen testing uh, uh, as far as I can and also uh, I'll try keep coming up with the new topics. Uh, but that's it uh, from this time. I'll see you guys next week.